I get introduced and the fact that I'm going to come to you mostly through this medium here. You hear me, Don? Would you turn it over and we'll see, right? Set it overlay. I don't know why we call it a mouse. It started that way and we never did change it. Shifting from illustrative material to the real work. Well, like if today uh, you said to somebody, I'm sure that everyone will have his own individual helicopter soon. Ah, ha, ha, you know. Well, that was the way it was. Computers were so expensive and so big and clumsy. The idea of being able to have one pay attention just to you just it was ridiculous. And the mouse became a bridge so that there was really this ability to, to get close and personal with, with the computer, to really relate to it and interact to it. And I think that connection only gets closer in the future as mice or other com embedded input devices really become the bridge between your brain and the brain of the computer working together. It has had a, a profound impact in the way people use their PC. I don't believe the PCs would have been so successful as they are today without the mouse. Oh, Engelbart, he's just a dreamer. And you know what bothered me a lot was the word just in there? Because, gosh, it's a, it's a really a tough job being an effective dreamer, see? Copy after itself, and I can just do this a few times and get a bit of uh, material there. And there are other entities like text.